Now that we have how to make a geometric form down, let's talk a little bit more about the organic forms. Organic forms are lumpy and bumpy, and we've all started with some kind of organic shape. Now we have to make it three-dimensional. What I don't want you to do is um, flatten out a piece of clay and cut it out like a cookie so you have a flat shape that looks like this. What you have to do is kind of imagine what this would look like if it were three-dimensional. There's a lot of right answers here. Maybe this is big and bulbous and it comes down a little bit in the middle and comes out again on the edges. Um, maybe it kind of stands up. This almost could look like a little, I don't know, little animal of some sort. You have to kind of use your imagination. There are a lot of right answers, but cookies are the wrong answer. Nothing flat. So to make this form, I'm going to start with my lump of clay, and right now it's kind of geometric. I want it um, a little more sphere-like, a little more like a ball to get it started. So, get it into a cube first. Whenever I make a sphere, I always just start with a cube. Tapping it out. Then patting in the edges. All right, good enough. I want it to look more like that. All right, so maybe I'll just take it one lump at a time. I'll start with this big lump here. I know that a big lump needs to come out, so maybe I'll start by using my index finger and my thumb to pinch around and get a little bump that sticks out. Okay. Um, I've got another, another bump that comes out down here. Maybe I don't want that to be directly below. Maybe I want it to be sticking out in front more. And make that one come out. That's up to you. You have a lot of choices. The one thing I really want to be careful of is that I don't squish the middle of this form really flat. I keep it kind of rounded. You want the form to still remain three-dimensional. Otherwise, you won't be able to hollow it out very easily. All right, I have two lumps. Mm, another lump on the back. Maybe I'll make this one a little smaller. I'm gently pushing the clay a little at a time to manipulate it and get it to do what I want. I don't want to make I don't want to make the clay go faster than it wants to go, just a little bit at a time to change the form and shape. A little bit of force. Keep moving it around until I get a lump. Now I have three, my other one's down here. I'm gonna check out the back side. Now the back side looks a little more boring. I've got something coming up here. Maybe I need a divot. I'm gonna pull that piece out. Try to smooth it as you go. Doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. We'll do the finishing smoothing touches later. And that was kind of fun. Maybe I'll make another little divot there. Kind of change it up here so that it's more interesting of a form. Some shadows, some interesting negative space. <clears throat> Once you get a form that you like, you can kind of look back. Does it look a little something like my picture? It's close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the point is to make it interesting from all sides. So it has the basic shape turned into form. And then we really want to look at the top and the bottom. Is it still interesting from this side? Well, not nearly as interesting as it is from here. So now I want to work with it this way. Maybe I should pull this up a little bit, little by little. So it's more interesting up here. Okay. And dig this in a little further. 
make a little dent there, flip it over, and keep turning it around, examining it as you go, making sure that it's interesting from all angles.